While manual or powered torque wrenches and direct tensioning tools are the most common means of preloading fasteners, technicians may use other methods on occasion. A preload indicating washer uses two concentric steel rings between a pair of plain washers. The inner ring is smaller in diameter and taller than the outer ring. As the bolt is tightened, the inner ring compresses. The bolt is properly tightened when the loose outer ring no longer moves. This indicates that the rated load has been reached. Some work instructions specify that bolts be tightened enough to draw the workpieces together, then tightened an additional number of degrees or turns. When using this method, it is important to perform the initial tightening properly and to accurately measure the final position. It may be helpful to make marks that show the start and correct finish position of the wrench. A protractor can help to establish these marks. Direct tension indicating washers, or DTIs, use bumps which flatten when the correct preload is reached. A feeler gauge is used to inspect the assembly. A gauge of the proper thickness must not touch the bolt in at least half of the locations inspected. Some DTIs use silicone, which squirts out of the washer when the bolt is preloaded correctly. These require a calibration process before being installed. The process involves tightening the bolt until a feeler gauge does not enter at least half of the available entry points. Then, noting the appearance and volume of the silicone ejected from the washer. The remaining bolts are then tightened until the silicone pattern matches the calibrated bolt. In all cases, the number of squirts must at least equal the number of bumps on the washer, minus one. A washer with five bumps must have at least four squirts. Be sure to follow the appropriate work instructions when using any of these methods to preload bolts.